you want to know how many chords there are. Okay, how many chords and voicings exist? Well, the real answer is infinity, and only God can play them all. But that's not the answer you're looking for. You, um, you want a real answer. So let's stick to 12 pitches, since that's pretty much what we're dealing with. 12 frets, 12 notes on the piano, whatever. So let's only stick to 12. Let's not worry also about the multiple octaves that exist, even down to the very low inaudible frequencies. You can also make frequencies super fast. Even you can see frequencies, right? Like light is a frequency. So let's just stick to 12 pitches. I'm not worrying about all these octaves, okay? Here's what we come up with. A one note chord is, is not really a chord, but it's a, it's a monad, okay? Let's just start there. We're gonna delete it later. It's not, because it's not really a chord. It's just a note, okay? Um, a two note chord, some may not say it's a real chord, but you know, let's just say it's a chord, okay? It's called a dyad. Three note chord, the triads that we all know are three note chords. Sometimes they're called trichords to avoid confusion, but all triads are trichords. There's a four note chord called tetrads or tetrachords. Five note sets, pentads or pentachords. That's what um, you can make pentatonic scales out of five note sets. There's six notes, which are hexads or hexachords. Seven note sets, heptads or heptachords, or combining the Greek and Latin derivative of the word septichord. Eight notes, octads or octochords. Nine notes, nonads or nonachords. Ten notes, decads or decachords. Eleven notes, undecachords. And twelve notes, dodecachord. Okay, so a dodecachord is just when you play all twelve notes at once. <laughs> okay. On the guitar, you really, you can only go up to six. So that's what we got. This is all the all the numbers. Okay, there's a total of four thousand and eighty three different possibilities. Okay, is that the number we're looking for? Let's talk about it further. Okay, so here's another way to find those numbers instead of just taking my word for it. We're going to use factorial math. Ooh. So there's two different formulas. There's a permutation formula and a combination formula that uses factorial math. We're gonna start with the permutation formula first. This is how it works. Let's say you wanna find all the possible options for a four note chord. So let's say I have a 12 sided die. I happen to have one right here. Let's say I roll it and I get a G flat. Now on my second roll, since I don't wanna repeat a note, I'm gonna hopefully not roll a G flat again. But anyway, there's if I eliminate that first option, I have 11 options for my second choice. And for my third choice, I have 10 options. My fourth choice, I have nine options because that's how many are left. That's a lot of options. That's 11,880 permutations as shown here in this handy online calculator that I found on mathisfun.com. But, this is when the order of notes doesn't matter. So you have all these options for a C major seven chord. You know, you got C, E, G, B, or B, G, C, E, etc. You know, like they the, have the same four notes, right? But there's 24 different ways of mixing them up. Uh, what if I just consider all those options the same chord? Because really they are the same chord. Diff, just different inversions and different uh, voicings, right? So let's divide our permutation number by the 24 possibilities that there are. Now it becomes 495 different four note chords. Shown here where the order of notes doesn't matter, becoming now the combination formula here, again, in the mathisfun.com calculator. Okay, but what about types of chords? I don't really care what key it's in. I think a C major seven chord is the same type as an F major seven chord. How many different types of chords are there? So that's a different question. Can I just divide by 12 since there are 12 different possible roots? Well, no, not really. It's, it's not that simple. You have to figure out how many notes out of 12 does that kind of chord use? For instance, if you have a two note chord it needs two out of the 12 notes to exist. 
that's one-sixth of the possible notes. So instead of having 12 possible root options per two-note chord, you only have six. Three-note chords use one quarter of all the notes out of 12, so you only have four root options. Four-note chords use one-third of all the notes, so you only have three root options, and so on. I hope that makes sense. That's kind of a not really an elegant way to explain it, so I'll show you a different method to come up with that number. Here's what all of them turn out to be, but I'm going to explain some more, so hopefully it makes sense. Here's another way to find the right numbers. Using the permutation formula, let's say the root doesn't matter. It's already been chosen for you. So for the first option, it actually starts with the second choice. Okay, So you get 990 permutations with three choices, starting with 11 options. But again, permutations is when the order of notes doesn't matter. Here, they all have the same root, but you can see that there are six different options. If we divide by the number of those possibilities, we get 165. It's again confirmed by the calculator. I also confirmed it by a few different sources. Here's Ted Green uh, figured it out. There's 165. Wayne Krantz did 165. And also uh, good old Joseph Schin Schillinger, or Schillinger. I actually don't know how to pronounce his name, but he did uh, four unit scales, three intervals. There's 165 of them. How about that? Here are all the options again. Using only 12 pitches, there are 2,047 different types of chords. Now that's actually probably the answer you're looking for if you clicked on the clickbaity title. Okay, what's neat about those numbers is they're big. It's a big number, but it's not too big, right? Fun to systematically go through each option of say the two or the three or the four note options just to see if they sound good or interesting and or use, useful. Spoiler alert. My next book has to do with the 165 different four note options. I'm actually having a, a lot of fun uh, doing that. Anyway, if we want to disregard inversions, that's another calculation. And uh, watch out for symmetrical chords. That's the thing that will keep you up at night. Let me show you something. So take the, the four note chords. You can't just divide by four to disregard inversions because not all the four chords have four unique chords as inversions. For instance, this one, the dominant seven flat five. Okay, um, it actually only has two inversions. So this one, that's the first inversion. The second inversion has the same order of notes as the root position. Isn't that interesting? Anyway, so they, it's semi-symmetrical, okay? There's another chord, the, the major seven flat five, Sus, this one, that's also semi-symmetrical, only has two inversions. And then the, uh, the diminished seventh chord, if you invert it, it has the same order of notes, right? So the, the way that works, so you have 165 unique four note sets, okay? There's 43 unique four note chords if you don't count inversions. 40, which can be inverted four ways two which can be inverted two ways, and one which can be inverted only one way. There's actually another inversion that set theorists talk about, and that's where the intervals, the intervals are turned backwards. Some sets actually have eight inversions doing it this way. So you can reduce 165 to only 29 unique four note sets. If you want to discuss voicings, that's where permutations come back into play. I'll quickly outline some stuff that may get you going. For triads, so we can go one, three, five, or we can go one, five, three. Okay, one is called a closed position triad, and one's called a spread triad or an open triad. Okay, so if there's uh, in three inversions each, and so there's six ways to, six possible ways to voice a triad. Let's apply those six ways to the three notes above the root in four note chords. So we can go one, three, five, seven, or one, five, seven, three, one, seven, three, five, and so on. And here are the four inversions each 
of each one under the six. So now you have 24 possible ways to voice a four note chord. You may notice these voicings has, have names such as uh, closed position or drop two, drop three, and so on. Uh, so hopefully that, uh, hopefully you've got some ideas. Okay, I'm gonna stop there and um, keep an eye out for my next book about the four note options, okay? Okay, bye.